Kingdom Hearts fans are crazy. We have a up and coming live streamer named Illyria who beat the very first Kingdom Hearts game with nothing but a guitar. No, not one of those Guitar Hero ones with the buttons and whatnot, a actual guitar. Do it again, do it again, come on. Oh my god, he's walking at me. Why is he walking? No, 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 I think I could have got it. I had, I had the idea for about a year, but I didn't really know how to do it. And then just one day, I'm, I was just looking it up on YouTube just to see if it was possible. And I found a video and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I can do it. It was kind of a pain to get it a set up, but once, once you set it up, it's like easy every time you need to do it again. Just the first time figuring it out was kind of a hassle, but. Now to give credit, this is not the first time someone has been in Kingdom Hearts 1 in a very different way, but by no means is stuff like this common. In the past, we've had people like Sarah Key beat Kingdom Hearts on a dance pad, which was amazing in itself and insanely entertaining, but this is not stuff that happens often. So when a fan, creator, streamer is willing to go this mile to create a unique experience when playing the game, it's just amazing to see, and I'm honestly jealous. Because I do not know if I'd ever have the patience to do something on this level. It's just impressive. Like, look at these clips. You can see how difficult of a playthrough this actually was when it came to moving, attacking, and just the smallest of things that were a struggle. I mean, can you imagine for every action you have to do in Kingdom Hearts, a real-time action game where you have to roll, attack, block, among other things, on reaction with just guitar strings? Not only does that sound difficult, but also kind of exhausting after a while at Envision. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. What the f <laughs> Let's talk a little more about the player doing this. There are a streamer named Illyria who has been a Kingdom Hearts fan for quite some time, who also plays Square Enix games, among other things, live on Twitch. They also, conveniently enough, are a musician too. Makes sense, right? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Zora's the Keyblade Master. Who oh, just try that? Which kind of made this the perfect challenge for them. A matter of fact, if you like the music you've heard in the background in this video, it's from them. So I'll also be linking their Spotify down below. Should I also mention that they beat Sephiroth during this challenge with just guitar strings? I think they, uh, you know, deserve your support. It's so cool seeing stuff like this for me especially because growing up playing Kingdom Hearts, I remember struggling on like the simplest of fights. I remember being stuck on guard armor when I was a kid. I used to pass the controller around the family playing on the couch and we would all take turns and none of us could beat guard armor. Same thing with Trick Master. I remember struggling on pretty much every Disney boss in the game period and especially on Riku Ansem. So growing up to see speedrunners, to see streamers, content creators do the craziest of things in Kingdom Hearts, doing level one playthroughs, no damage these fights, beat these games with dance pads and guitar strings, even if it's in the most arbitrary way imaginable, Kingdom Hearts fans will find any way possible to keep these games feeling fresh or giving you just a new perspective. Maybe weird and crazy, but it's so much fun. When it comes to creating new and innovative ways to challenge themselves, the Kingdom Hearts fans can get insanely creative. The streamer that did this as well, Ilria, said that they were planning on doing the same sort of playthrough with Kingdom Hearts 2. No, yeah, the, the plan was always to do KH1, 2, and 3, and I'm actually going to be doing 2 kind of soon because I was waiting on a on a cosplay and I, I already bought it. So I'm gonna cosplay as Demix for all of KH2. Um, and we're gonna do the, the guitar run and I'm gonna see if I can make it into a charity stream. So if you want to catch that and find out for yourself what that is like, make sure to check them out on Twitch, link down below. The Kingdom Hearts community is in love with making these games even harder, even more challenging, or just finding new ways to have fun with the game, whether it's for their own enjoyment or for their audiences and other fans. There's so many of these types of players in the community who create their own replay value out of single player games that are over 20 years old. There's only so much I can say just talking about these players and what they do, and because of that, I highly recommend checking them out for yourself once again. But that will be all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, you already know what to do. Leave a like, share it with a friend or family member, and last but not least, 
if you have not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer. She's crazy.